Sometimes a listening ear can be the very panacea to sorting out many problems that might be going on in the school. It's really important as well that your boss or the head teacher or your line manager is able to talk to you in confidence. As you climb up the ladder, you will find that there's less people to talk to. You're no longer that teacher who has an audience of many in the staff room. People will know that you have the power to change decisions and carry a lot of influence. Every conversation carries much influence and you hold the power to wield and decide on people's lives and children's lives. So people are wary, but by ensuring that there is a trusting climate which is supportive and using a developmental and not judgmental approach, you can succeed. You will have to have those difficult conversations where practice is sloppy or teachers have behaved inappropriately or you think something's not quite right with the way they dealt with that child. Your job as a senior leader is to have that difficult conversation. It's really important you have that, but try to support that member of staff. Be firm but fair, but hold your ground. Share what you know only to relevant staff on a need-to-know basis. Put in the support, but make sure you hold people accountable. It's really important that when we succeed as senior leaders, we know that we're not perfect. Every day and each day is about reflective practice. Sometimes it's really tough. It's hard being a senior leader. But remember, you have been hired because you can do the job. Your recruitment process has involved having breakfast with teaching staff, having lunch with children. It's also meant you've had to be observed teaching lessons. Also, you've had to observe teachers and be observed giving feedback to them. You've been given presentations at 10 minutes notice. On top of that, you've had to have several interviews with different stakeholders and you've been quizzed and grilled to death by the head teacher, senior leadership members, governors, and also sometimes local authority personnel. So once you've got that job, well done, you've achieved it. But this is just the start. When you do start, make sure that you try to create the best teams because by creating the best teams, you will succeed in achieving your agenda. Always demand excellence from your teams. Model it and make sure that they understand how to carry out what you want them to do. Be clear, make sure that you are organized. Also support them and create a culture where they can actually say when they've made a mistake. Allow your teams to make mistakes. Set the school improvement agenda. Even if you are in an outstanding school or a good school, the rate of improvement must continue. Teaching never stops, learning never stops, and achievement never stops, and you're part of that. Ensure that you teach at least once a week, if not at least once every half term. When you carve out time within your busy timetable to go and teach, you're sending a strong message to all children and to all staff that teaching and learning is the top of your agenda. Because as educators, that's what we are about. Our job is to make sure we teach and we teach well but also our job is to make sure that those children are learning and preparing to compete in the global political climate. Show them what you can do. That difficult class that people talk about, go and teach that class. You'll end up having a begrudging respect from the harshest of your critics because they know that you can do it. It's not to show off, it's to model what you can do and also to show, yep, if you have to do it, then I'm willing to show you how to do it, but I'm also willing to take on the challenges. Also make sure that you support staff with planning. Sometimes staff don't understand it or they find it difficult.
before it becomes too much of a difficult situation where they are overwhelmed, put in support. Have that conversation with them that you are going to put, them, put in the support but at the end of the day, you want impact and you want that staff member to become a good and better teacher. Don't be frightened of those difficult conversations. Sometimes they can make or break a person, but it's how you do it that's really key.